Hi, my name is Tony Jordan and I'm with the School of Trades and Career Studies at Olds College. We're here in the welding shop and today I'm going to be giving you some instruction on a 1F and a 2F weld. So today we want to talk a little bit about MIG welding and the setup of MIG welding. First off we want to set up the MIG machine. This is our MIG setup that we have in our shops and for our power source we're using the XMT304 and of course the 22A wire feeder. Now, it's fairly straightforward, just like stick welding, you want to have that ground set up and you want to have that gun set up. And so I'm just going to unspool the gun and take it out and set it up on the table here. Some of the things you want to make sure when you set that gun up is that you make sure that the end of this gas nozzle is clean. You can't have a bunch of debris and stuff inside that gas nozzle and expect proper gas flow for, for, for coverage. The other thing we want to make sure is that we set up our wire so our stick out on the wire from the end of our contact tip is roughly 3 eighths of an inch. And so we make sure that we also have no sharp bends in our MIG gun uh, cable just so it doesn't bind up at all as our wire tries to feed through it. So we set it out on the table, get it ready, we take our ground and our ground is no different than when we do it when we stick weld. We want to take our ground and connect it to our table or our workbench that we'll be working on and to make sure that we have a good positive cable connection there. After that's completed, what we want to do then is we want to turn on our power source. Our power source, right in behind the front of this, we turn our power source on. It'll take a moment for that power source to initialize. Once it initializes, and you can see that happening now, it comes up with a reading. This one is actually set on MIG, but normally we would turn our selector switch here to the MIG setting, or if we're on a stick welding, we would turn it to the stick welding setting. So it's on the MIG setting, we're good to go on that. From there, we make sure our MIG feed unit is turned on. There's a switch on the back of the head here that we turn on. And so with that turned on, our MIG is now ready to go. One last addition is our gas, and in this case we're using a 25C gas, and we'll just turn on our flow, uh, our gas valve, and our, our flow meter here will actually read about 15 CFH, which is cubic feet per hour, and that's adjustable on this side knob here, but we're going to, it's already preset, we're at 15 cubic feet per hour. You may not see that flowing gas right now, when, it, when you first initially start out welding, the ball will rise up into that 15 CFH zone and it'll sink down as you keep welding, but your gas flow will continue. With that said, we should be now ready to go with our welder. A quick test on the trigger will tell us if we're ready to go. I can just squeeze the trigger real quick and we'll watch the wire come out. One of the things to remember with MIG welding is that nothing happens until you squeeze the trigger. You have no amperage or voltage, or no voltage, sorry, at the end of this until you squeeze that trigger and then you're live. What we're going to do is clip this wire off at 3 8 of an inch, and there we have our 3 8 of an inch setting, and we're ready to begin welding. So, what we've got here for the purposes of this welding class is five of these bars, and they're 3 8 by 1 inch thick. They are, uh, they are uh, bars we use just for doing our 1F, 2F, 3F welds. And so we're going to actually just overlap these bars. The, the key here is not to overlap them too far. Roughly a quarter of an inch overlap is plenty. We're going to tack them, them on the ends here, and we're going to tack them and make a little staircase out of five bars. So to do that, I generally set them on the table, get my spacing right, so I've got about an eighth of an inch there, and I'll put a tack on the end here. I'll turn them over when I've completed that tack, Space it properly, tack the other side, and we'll have that finished. Take my MIG gun, I get my, my bars staggered, roughly a quarter of an inch. Put my wire on there. Now with that first tack in place, I turn it over. I should be fairly close. I want to make sure my plates are tight in between, that there's no gap in between my two plates. So now I'm going to tack up the other side. I've got the first, first two steps now of my 
plates that I'm going to put together, and now I'll attach the other three. set of stairs there tacked together and we've now got essentially five four places per side to weld and we can weld those up with our joints that we're going to do the 1F and the 2F.
And that's it for a 1F, 2F weld. And hopefully these tips and pointers will help you with your welding techniques at home. Good luck in your welding.